All right, everybody, new topic. Um, this one is going to be, what sport do you think is the hardest sport to play? Um, they always say hitting a baseball is the hardest thing to do in sports. I happen to agree with that. Um, so I think that that, ba- that puts baseball, obviously, as one of the toughest sports to play. But in my opinion, it's got to be golf. For anybody that's ever played golf, you know how frustrating and how hard it can be. Go out there one day, shoot an 80. Next day, shoot a 110. Let me hear what you guys think. Hardest sport. Hey, man, I hear you, and those are some valid points. But let me tell you, combat sports are the toughest to play, and here's why. First of all, it's just you in the ring against the opponent. You have no one to fall back on, no teammates to help you out. It's just man versus man. Second of all, any mistake doesn't lead to a loss on the win-loss column. It leads to you getting knocked out and injured. The brutality of this sport, the peak physical condition you need to be in to succeed, that's what makes it the toughest sport to play. All right, Dalt. Uh, While I will agree with you, golf is a very tough sport to play, um, I'm going to argue that I believe ice hockey would be the hardest sport to play, being that you're on ice skates, you got to learn how to skate. That's probably a really tough challenge in itself. Um, Plus the contact, plus the the hand-eye coordination. So, you know, I'm going to argue with you on that one. I'm going to say ice hockey is the hardest sport to play. What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm going to agree with Jay Cool, man. Um, It's hockey, easily. I mean, you take in all the factors, the speed, the agility of the game, the skill it takes to control the puck, to shoot. I mean, the conditioning. I mean, just read ESPN as many articles on the hardest sports, and it's always typically hockey. Uh, I mean, it's hard to skate on hockey, uh, on on, on a hockey rink alone without giant people trying to knock you over and moving 100 miles per hour. So, no, it's hockey. Golf's a cool sport, though, but I wouldn't even put that top five for me. Well, as I've said on here many times, golf is a game. It is not a sport. So I don't even consider golf a sport. But, yeah, I would go with hockey as a top-to-bottom sport. Sport. As a top-to-bottom sport, it would have to be hockey for me. The amount of tools you need to be proficient at to be good at that game just good at that game is ridiculous. A man, Dalton, is right. It's easily golf by a mile. Conditioning, working out, that's not hard. You can do that if you want. Golf, hitting a golf ball, standing there still, the ball doesn't move, and it's easily the hardest sport. Hockey isn't even in the running. Baseball's far harder than that. Hockey, eh, get out of here. All right. I understand hockey because you got to skate backwards. You got to do a bunch of stuff. I understand golf because I hate golf. And um, but is it a real sport? I mean, I think we're overlooking basketball. I'm not a big basketball fan, but I understand. I mean, how many people can go out and dribble the ball? How many people can dribble in between their legs? How many people can shoot a three a free throw or a three pointer? There's a lot of things in basketball <laughs> that are underrated, and I uh, you can't just go pick up a ball and shoot it. No, you think you can. Drunken monkey, man. This is for you on your last take. You might not be able to hear me because this ball is loud and super flat, but unfortunately, you are wrong. I mean, a lot of people can dribble a basketball. Not anyone can skate. Not anyone can do all that shit, skate backwards. But most dudes can come outside and dribble a basketball. I mean, I played for four years. I'm not the greatest athlete in the world, but I can play hockey, so. I meant to say can play basketball. Um, obviously, it's not an easy sport to be good at, but it's a lot easier to be good at than hockey. I know I look stupid dribbling. The ball is flat. I'll post a better video. But can most people dunk? Can most people jump up and dunk that ball? No. Can I mean, I'm a fat guy. I can go skate. I can skate all day. Can I skate backwards? Probably not. Can I hold a, a stick? Yeah. Can I shoot a puck? Yeah. But can I shoot a three? And, and be accurate every time? No. Can I shoot the ball? Yes. Can I dribble the ball? Yeah. Can I dribble between my legs? Hell no. I'm just saying average people can't. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't put the monkey in this. The monkey said hockey. Hockey is the hardest sport. The amount of skills you need to play that sport, game, whatever. The, 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 the amount of time you need from top to bottom, I said hockey. is. Joe Morley said basketball, not me. That not me. Don't say drunk and monkey. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> drunk and monkey said hockey. Yeah, I'm the one that said basketball uh, just to go off. And I'm just wondering who really is the drunken one. I mean, it's pretty hard to not confuse me and drunken monkey because of how cute we are. I understand. Uh, I understand the hockey thing 100%, guys, 100%. 
But, I mean, do you remember the first time that you tried to play basketball? I mean, it, it wasn't easy. I mean, to dribble the ball and get – actually start dribbling. Like, you didn't start dribbling like that. Like, you just showed me overnight. You didn't do that. That's also right. I just dunked a couple times, not to impress you, to show you that basketball is not as hard. The hardest sport by far, and it's not even close, is baseball. Hitting a baseball is the hardest thing you can do in any sport. Also, why do you think there are literally thousands of players and like half a percent actually make Dalton, hair's looking tremendous, my friend. So are the decisions. It is hitting a Major League Baseball one, and it absolutely is. Hitting a golf ball 436 yards in four strokes as a par, let alone a birdie. Do I dare say an eagle on a par five? Yada, yada, yada. But in terms of obscure or any kind of sport, the TikTokers that are throwing a ping pong ball into 19 different things that includes a light, a person, a cat, a dinkus. All right, don't get started with Drunken Monkey on golf. I went down that rabbit hole and you don't come out of it. Secondly, I understand the whole Major League Baseball thing, but come on, it's baseball. One of, the, one of the laziest sports there is. There's three sports in contention for this. UFC, hockey, and one that nobody said is water polo. You could drown in water polo. You could die in UFC. People die in that ring. You could die in hockey. Fuck it. Those sports are the hardest sports to play. All right, I'm going to throw out another one for everybody. Volleyball. Because if you're talking about the minimum physical requirements to play at a professional level, uh, I don't know if there's anything like it because you need to be able to touch 11 and a third feet or you have no hope. It means it doesn't matter how fast you are, how coordinated you are. If you are not, you know, six foot five to six foot eight or jump 44 inches, you just don't qualify. That said, I think it's hockey. Crossover skills like volleyball, but more conditioning and people can hit you. Derek I'm, Derek, I'm going to have to disagree with you on the volleyball thing, unless you're talking about beach volleyball, because in actual volleyball, and I've never played, but I have friends who play, I believe there's a position called a libero, and that player is genuinely not that tall. And they genuinely don't have to get up to block. They genuinely do not have to get up to spike. Those sometimes they are put in situations where they do. Those guys are generally short. They're not 6'5". They're not these big guys. They're maybe 5'10". They're maybe shorter. All right, I was proven wrong on basketball. And then I was listening to Derek, and I thought of one. Water polo. Water polo. Like, those guys are swimming. They have to stay up. They're, they have to stay and float. And then sometimes they get pushed underwater, and they got to hold their breath. Like, water polo, like, if you ever watched it, now you know what I'm talking about. Water polo is, oh, my God, it's unbelievable. has to be one of the hardest sports to play. Uh, Sammy, I hear you. Uh, the guy, the guy's called a libero, and uh, it's sort of like saying that you know you don't have to be fast or strong to play football because you can be a kicker. Um, technically, he's a football player, but not really. And same thing with libero. Yeah, technically, you're a volleyball player, but if you only play the back row and rotate in for someone else, who's the guy who gets all the girls because he jumps high and spikes the ball hard, doesn't count. All right, listen up. The hardest sport has to be hand-to-hand -hand combat. Talking UFC, boxing. You have to be in the best physical and mental shape of your life. You gotta have something wrong up there. What's up, guys? I'm Trey, co-host of the Low Quality Sports Show. Super, super excited to be here on this app with you guys. Super excited to be part of the uh, Sports Me community. In my opinion, hockey is the hardest sport. Why? The skill of skating up and down the ice is already hard enough. Take into account the checking and the physicality of the sport and shooting on goal to begin with. With that hockey stick, all those defenders and goalies has to be the hardest sport out there, in my opinion. Hand-to-hand -hand combat is a close second for me. Yeah, golf's not a sport. It's a leisure activity. I mean, golf is what uh, athletes do when they get really old and can't play their real sport. I'm not saying it's not a difficult game to play, but it, but it's not a sport. Hockey might be the most difficult sport, but the most difficult thing to do in sports is to hit a baseball. That's the most difficult thing to do in sports. If it's just about the most difficult sport in general, it's probably hockey. 
Guys, anybody that said hockey, I'm sorry, you're just wrong. It's, I mean, sure, is it hard to play? Can anybody just go play in the NHL? No. But, I mean, it's not that hard to ice skate and shoot a puck compared to something that takes decades and decades of mastering a skill. Look at guys like Tiger. Jordan Spieth was on top of the world how many years ago, right, in, in the mid-2000s, and now he can't even top 10 in a major. And another one I will say is combat sports. That one-on-one -on -one aspect of it, I think, definitely brings it into the combat. Well, scientists have actually done a study on this. They've rated sports uh, on, in 10 categories. Endurance, speed, flexibility, strength, power, agility, nerve, durability, hand-eye coordination, and analytical thinking. Boxing is number one. Ho ice hockey is number two. It's science, man. It's science. Everyone's talking about, could you dribble a ball? Could you skate backwards? Golf, golf, golf. Well, I'm here to tell you what the real hardest sport is. Hot dog eating contests. How many people do you know that can dribble a basketball? Probably a lot. How many do you know that can skate? Probably a lot. Hit a golf ball? Probably a lot. How many people do you know that can eat 75 hot dogs in 10 minutes? The toughest sport, in my opinion, is water polo because you have to tread water constantly while handling a ball at the same time and you're not allowed to touch the touch the ground and um, when you're being guarded like they're constantly push trying to push you down so they're trying to they're literally trying to drown you and um, anything below the belt anything goes like they can kick you in the nuts they can grab your suit and move you around and it's just a very brutal sport Boxing and the UFC are really tough, but there is one sport that is tougher than the UFC. That is Australian rules football. You gotta be fast, you gotta tackle, you gotta be able to kick, you better be able to run for 80 minutes. And the hits are wild. It's like the NFL 15 years ago. Like they're they're head hunting, they don't they don't care. And on top of that, you need skill. Like Australian rules football is wild.